What's up guys, how you doing? Mike Chabala here, two-time Major League Soccer champion, nine-year MLS soccer player. I'm here in my home city, Houston, Texas, and my home club, the Houston Dynamo, at PNC Stadium. It used to be BVA Stadium, and before that was Robertson Stadium, for those that remember. I started my career with the Houston Dynamo in 2006, and in 2006, 2007, we won back-to-back -back MLS Cup championships that really changed the game for me. Not because of the hardware, I wasn't on the field actually when we won those games, but for the experience and the atmosphere that I learned from the locker room. Take a look, it's an amazing stadium. Bring you guys back to tell the story about how Sphere started. And it really starts with my time as a professional soccer player, all the experiences from Houston to Portland to DC, then back here to you know, beautiful Houston, Texas, where, um, you know, I got to play almost a decade of professional soccer, winning two MLS Cup championships for the great city of Houston. One of the things they always say about a soccer player, and for most professional athletes, I guess, really, is that you're not uh, owning a jersey, you just merely rent it. Um, and you never really know when that uh, time is going to be up, so you got to enjoy it while it lasts. And uh, I remember when my time was up, I was, uh, came back for my, my second round here in Houston, um, after being traded away, worked my way back onto the team, played a great season in 13, was going back for my second season in 14. Last day of preseason, wasn't a contract for me. You know, they always would ask me like, you know, well, what do you want to do with your life? And I said, I did it. I mean, the one thing I wanted to do was play professional soccer and then, you know, it's over. And then it's like, well, what do you do next? So I broke a natural gas. I was uh, trying in private equity. Um, I tried private wealth management. I got kicked out and failed in every single corporate locker room, if you will, until I started my own company. And, you know, it was really at that point in time that I was motivated and passionate about one thing, and that was recreating the locker room, that environment that I had found. Woo! All right, let me take you in the locker room. That's where the magic really happened. I'll just say this. I thought my life was all about playing professional soccer. I thought that that's what I was put on this earth to do, but really it was just a preseason of what I'm actually meant to do on this earth. And everything wasn't about soccer, it wasn't about fitness. It was about that locker room connection, that atmosphere. Let me go show you what I'm talking about. passionate part for me starting Sphere was that I personally struggled meeting people outside of professional soccer. Like once I finished, I mean as gregarious and outgoing as I as I am, you know, I was going to look for these relationships at SoulCycle, Berries, CrossFit, Yoga. And these simple principles of what was applied in 06 and 07 when I was uh, my first year as a professional soccer player just didn't exist. You can get fitness anywhere, you can play soccer anywhere, but the relationships um, and the connections is what truly set me apart and the team apart. That energy in the locker room, the friendships, the camaraderie, the small little connections that were going on that strengthened the bond of our, of our team. It was a family. And that dynamic is very, very powerful and it really has been the catalyst for Sphere and what we do as a company. So when Sphere takes a field, it's a team that knows everybody's name, that welcomes everybody regardless of the style of play, color, cleats, position off the field, and creating an atmosphere that is universal, that is felt anywhere that we play. 